Good evening, and welcome back to RimWorld on Modi Apparatus. We're back here at Modinia City, which is coming together quite nicely. It's not so much a city as it is just like a massive complex right now, but uh, we'll get there eventually. I don't know if we're going to have separate buildings or anything like that, but this definitely this, this is going to be a gigantic complex, I think, eventually. Uh, some of the things we need to accomplish soon here, we got to get these beds set up because we want the prisoners all moved over here, and we want separate rooms for each of our colonists, so we're going to have to make a nice little corridor with rooms for everybody, I think, is what we're going to work on towards. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do that exactly. We're going to have to get somebody mining through here pretty pretty much all the time now. Oh, we lost power here. What is this all about? A uh, solar flare has begun. Intense radiation will shut down all electronic devices. It should pass in about a day. All right, so no power whatsoever for us right now. Uh, that means we can't take care of the dead bodies today either. Shoot. With that said, we can actually get, because Jay can't, or uh, rather Chef can't do any cooking, we have to give him something else to do. His mining skill is a one. Uh, otherwise, he can do some cleaning, probably, is how he'll spend his days. Uh, I don't know what else he should be doing right now. Uh, we could send him on a hunt, maybe? How's his hunting skill? Not too bad. So we could send him on a hunt and take Jay off of hunting and put a uh, chef onto it. Let's send him on a hunt, because we're almost out of food here as far as meat goes. So let's send Jay on a little hunt over here. Or rather, Chef on a little hunt over here. Let's say orders are to hunt a couple of these guys. Let's hunt those three, and Chef will take care of it then. Um, let's do let's let's hit to, to prioritize hunting, because he's already over here. He's walking right past. Let's let's have him kill the deer while he's here. There we go. Now we're getting now we're getting better at this. He's getting, he's getting to be a good shot actually. Oh Freya, don't walk through the line of fire, please. Oh my God, she timed that perfectly, but I don't think she intended to. I think she's mindless enough that she would have just walked right through it. I think all of the colonists are kind of mindless like that. All right, we got one down. He'll come back and hunt some more, I'm sure soon. But then we'll set up a bill here. You don't need a don't need a uh, a pow power to make any uh, meat. Oh, we got a mortar. Learn to build mortars, which can lob shells over lo long over long distances over walls. Okay, so we need to set up like walls here that we can sh shell the mortars out of, uh, and set them so that they can be accessed by the colonists, but they're defended from other uh, enemies. I think would be a good idea. But we'll work on that later. Right now, we want to research hydroponics because we want to move our farm indoors at some point. I think that would be a tremendous goal for us to have. Uh, we can put it like down over here, maybe someplace. Like have it like connected through the storeroom. So you come through the storeroom and get to the hydroponics area. Might not be a bad idea, actually. Uh, might might work nicely. Uh, there's metal in these hills here. I left this open so we can do some mining down here if we want to. Uh, if it comes into that, let's see what Chef is up to. Is he still hunting? Oh no, Catherine's hunting now. Let's see which of these is marked. Actually, this one that's getting shot right now is not actually even marked for death. The other ones are. Is Freya going to hunt too? What are you all guys doing? You're all you're hauling all the metal to the stockpile. Oh my god, that was so far away. I wasted so much time telling him to go do that, but I guess we need more metal. We have 8, 868 right now. Uh, we could always use more. So drills is gonna have to eat off the floor again because I took out the tables and no one's actually willing to fix them up. Is somebody not on constructing? We have no one on constructing right now. Oh, Catherine's on constructing, but it's a it's a two. Let's put her up to a one on that, and uh, a two on hunting. Maybe I don't know. We'll put her on a one on hunting and. Uh, for today, anyways, we'll put a one on Chef for for, uh, for constructing as well, because he can't use power today anyways. So we'll get a lot of stuff done here still. It won't be a waste. He's going to go hunt this last deer here, it looks like. All right, nice. Now, the other thing I want to do today, hopefully, is move these rock chunks out, because we can use the rock chunks in the, uh, the stone cutting table here now. So we probably want to work towards that. Uh, I could set them up as a butcher too, I suppose, but I'm, I'll wait on that. Um... Where can I put rock chunks? That's a good question. I would really want to haul this stuff away, but I don't want it to clog up all of our stuff over here. But this stuff, is, everyone's tripping over it constantly. Um, so I'm going to set this up to haul. Let's see, let's haul all of this out of the way. I've had enough of it. We've been tripping over it since day one, pretty much. Uh, so let's put somebody on that. Hopefully somebody gets taken care of that. These wedge and axle are not going to be happy about being in the dark, I'm sure. Um, he isn't, is, what is he, what is his deal? Is he not getting... Oh, try to recruit him. Jeez, come on, guys. Friendly chat, man. These guys are all set to no interaction. That's the problem. God, all right. Uh, let's go prisoner and set to recruit. And get friendly chats. So that's why Jay's, uh, uh, what's his face is not doing any wardening around here. That makes sense. He's just hauling things constantly. Where is he? Drills, better come back here and do some wardening, I think. It would be a good idea if you can convince these guys to join up. Uh, and then we'll set a couple bills for this here. Add the bills, build the creatures. We have three, so we'll get some more meat. Catherine is going to build a table finally, it looks like. Awesome. 
Oh, she's building the beds here. Oh, that's good too. We can set this as a prisoner bed then. I'll set this as a prisoner bed. Uh, we don't want the whole room set for prisoner though. Let's not turn, let's not do that yet. Um, we want to also set up a medical wing too. I think this might work as a nice medical wing over here. We'll see what happens. Oh, it looks like everyone's going to sleep for the night. Let's, let's speed through the evening here. Does Drills not have a bed? There he goes. Okay, good. I was going to say, he better have a bed. We got a, another group from Sunsboro. They can't get enough of us. They love us. And uh, let's let's speed through the night here again then. Sunsboro just loves the crap out of us. They're here every single night. All right, Chef is going to work on butchering some animals here in the early pre-dawn era here. It's a 3, 3 a.m. And he got, just got up out of bed to butcher some things. Catherine decided to work on the beds here, which is awesome. And let's actually set this so... What, why is... Okay, it's unowned. Let's actually set this for non-prisoner. And then someone will go take care of him, I think. Grill should go up in there and let's get him out of bed. Let's see, how's his health doing? He's almost done. Here, let's just wait. Wedge is actually out of uh, his, his area now. So we'll get him into this area here. All right, cool. Power should be coming back on. Been out for a long time here. It should be, should be coming back on soon. Freya's finally moving this metal out of the way. We're making some progress here. All right, there we go. Wedge and you guys can share a room. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I think that's a good size. If we made this like, I mean, if we make three, three by three by four is probably too small. Maybe five by five would be good. I don't know. I think five by five is probably good. Uh, Drills is trying to recruit him, which is fantastic. He's he's like the perfect poster child because Axel knows Drills. I mean, they got they had their they had their disagreements. It might be a tough sell, but at least Axel knows that Drills saw the light. He came over to us. And he tried to recruit Wedge, didn't work, 19% chance. He'll try on Axel later, I'm guessing. Uh, Cause he is set to recruit, right? We set that correctly now? Yes, sorry, right, good. Uh, we're missing eight construction materials. For what? Uh, for the crematorium, oh, we need stone blocks then. Okay, so let's set a bill for stone blocks here. Let's make 20. There we go, so Chef should work on that too. He's gonna make some food for us right now. And then we'll actually take out this bed right here, I think, is our next thing. Deconstruct this bed. And that'll work. Catherine's working on cleaning. Awesome. Always appreciated. Oh, Freya can do constructing too. That's awesome. All right, cool. So Freya's working on constructing. Let's speed through here. Because let's see what else needs to get done here. Uh, let's see, he's below loyalty threshold right now. What does that mean? Let's see where he's at. His thoughts, he because convinced by the warrant, he's at below the loyalty threshold. There's got to be like a threshold of like, like 40 or something like that that we have to cross before they'll jo consider joining up. So we just started working our game on Axel just now. So it's going to be a little while before we actually get him. Unfortunately, I wasn't smart enough to uh, set that up correctly. So Drills is going to take care of that because he's got his wardening done for the day. And uh, now let's, let's get this all set up. Let's see, we have some stone blocks. Now someone should be working on making that here soon then. Meals are low, buddy. What happened to the meals? Let's see, how's this bill doing? Oh, he has six fine meals left. Let's cook that up to 15 again. Keep them cooking non-stop here. The power came back on, so we can start, work start uh, working on that again. He has three meals there. Those are gonna go quickly. We should probably like hollow this whole thing out and make it into storage over here for rocks and stuff. That might not be a bad idea. Like raw resources, like metal, and that kind of thing get them away from this and then also get oh man i don't even know what to do here because we need to have this beacon next to things we want to sell is the deal so it's going to be kind of tough to uh to negotiate all of that um no one's no one's decaying down here it looks like we have 95 95 95 no one's dying down here i was going to dig these graves up but no one's actually going to be dead it's gonna be pretty horrible if someone has to dig those graves up so we can't make our storage area go too far but this might be actually make a nice storage area if we can dig this out a little bit let's actually set some mining to be done here let's mine all that out to start with and Catherine should work on that she's the expert miner oh she's gonna work on the floors first that's a great idea actually thank you for that oh she's gonna go to mining instead though she didn't finish it up damn it all right well maybe someone else will do it Let's see who might do it. Freya might, might go do it. Nope. Who else is on constructing? Just Chef and Catherine. All right. Well, Chef has some cooking duties to do, and he's sleeping at the moment. So that's no good. And we got our little people, uh, Isodora and uh, Ian and Bite are hanging out here. 
but uh yeah we, we probably we could probably get this mining done first i guess we'll let we'll let uh let um need grave again the sunsboro are leaving without incident this time a trade ship is passing by a combat supplier now that not be that not be a bad idea to talk to them uh let's have drills take care of it though uh once he's done sleeping of course let's see his his rest is almost back up we'll have drills do that the next day then Freya's making some stone blocks for us to finish this project up here. We have enough resources to do it. We just need someone to actually go do it. So let's actually put her on constructing then too. And that way she could stop crafting that, I think. Once she's done with that block, she should go finish this up. We'll see what happens. Hopefully she does. Speed through here a little bit. Oh, actually, Catherine's back. Okay, she's taking care of it. She's not mining now. So we can actually take Freya off of constructing then. And uh, we'll take you back down. Okay, there you go. Oh, now she's back to mining. Come on, Catherine, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Okay, Freya's gonna be back on constructing. Jeez. We really need this to get done so we can take care of some of these bodies so it stops telling me I need graves. I know we need graves. We're, we're, we're working on it here. Alright, so. Uh, Freya's going to eat. Then she should go make this stuff here. Let's see. Drill successfully recruited Wedge. Oh, another colonist added to the crew here. All right, so let's take a look at Wedge here and see what he's good at. He's an agent. Uh, let's see, put him on firefighting, of course. Doctoring is a seven. Compared to uh, Jay, it's not quite as good. So we'll actually turn him off of doctoring. How's his researching ability? 10, and he's a 14. But still, we can actually have him researching and does Jay have working on doctoring maybe? I don't know, we'll see what happens. Doctoring doesn't come up too often. So maybe we'll switch them around if we need to. Uh, let's see, crafting is a three, but I think it'd be good to have another person on crafting. Uh, mining is a three, we'll, but it'd be nice to have somebody else on mining. Hunting is an eight and a half, pretty good. Uh, we'll put hunting as a one also. And then wardening, we don't actually need a second warden, or do we? Oh, it might not be a bad idea. Let's put you on a two on wardening. If there's nothing else to do, there should be anything else to do at all times though. And we'll put you on constructing as well here. So hunting will be a two, mining will be a two, crafting and constructing take precedent. And then wardening it after that too. So, uh, like we'll make make sure that drills is the primary warden. Actually, you know what? Let's just make him the only warden. We'll just have one guy doing it, and then we'll have Wedge doing uh, all this other stuff here that needs to be done. And we'll of course have him on a patient, and researching if if I guess if you get bored, he can't do cleaning. He can't do a lot of stuff here. So it's good that we have a guy that can be more specialized. I guess in some ways. Uh, so we got somebody to help out with things now. Things should go much quicker. Wedge is gonna head out of the mines right away. Get working. And we're missing construction materials still. We need more stone blocks. Crematorium is done though, and it's got power. And so now we can start setting up some bills to add some bills, cremate corpse, and we can cre cremate, how many do we have here? We have five, right? So we're gonna set these guys to be picked up here. Let's, uh, oh, do we wanna strip them? Is it worthwhile? How much gear does she have? She has a t-shirt, she has an armor vest. I guess we should probably strip her then. Uh, let's get someone on this. Who do we want? Drills, what are you up to right now? He's, ha he's hauling slag chunks. Okay, Drills, why don't you get over here and deal with this? Uh, I want you to strip that one, first of all. We'll have, to actually have you do a lot of these. And then we'll sell some guns off. We need somebody to call that, that, that uh... All right, so then we can do this guy next. And strip him down too. I guess he doesn't really have anything good. Oh, he's got frag grenades, right? No, that's Drills, he has frag grenades. Uh, strip him down anyways. This guy has a cowboy hat. We want that. We want Drills to have a cowboy hat, though. Do that. All right, now Drills, equip that cowboy hat, first of all. Wear the cowboy hat. Yeah, Drills, nice. And uh, he doesn't have a hauling ability, I guess. Uh, and next, we can deal with this guy. Button-down t-shirt, nah. Button-down t-shirt, nah. Cowboy hat, we want that. So, Drills, I want you to go strip down uh, this one right here. Whatever his name was. Ilvia. And then grab that duster as well. There you go. Now you're looking good. And we're actually going to have uh, one more person here that can wear something else. So let's go. Let's have let's have Jay wear the body armor, actually, because uh, he is a little squishy guy. We need our doctor to be in good health. So we're going to actually have him wear that vest. And then uh, we need to have somebody else wear a hat. We need someone else wearing a hat. Maybe Chef can wear a hat. Let's have a Chef wear a hat. And uh, we'll do that. So wear a cowboy hat. And then we can have someone take these bodies away. Let's just un unclick all of that stuff. There we go. There we go. All right, so Chef should be grabbing that hat now. 
There we go. Oh, man, looking good. All right, we got a couple guys in cowboy hats now. And uh, now we're starting to work on dead bodies getting taken away. And cremation is happening. Awesome. We're getting, we're getting things done here today. We're making progress on the colony. Love it. Uh, there's a couple more guys over here. What does he have? T-shirt and jacket. Don't need that. We'll just uh, let him go. Take this. Anybody else? Nope. I think everyone else should be able to get hauled in here. And we'll do a couple more bills for corpses here. Let's set that up to six. I don't know how many are left here. We'll just we'll set it to a high number so it gets done. And then we'll speed through the evening here to the next day. Chef's got his, his room right in the middle of the kitchen, which is kind of fitting in some regards. Doesn't even take his hat off to sleep, though. I like that. Next, uh, so Axel's got his own room, so we should be happy about that. Doesn't have to share a bedroom anymore. He's got cabin fever. Oh boy, that's, that's unfortunate. Let's put a potted plant in here for him so he doesn't go crazy, hopefully. Um, furniture. Let's see. Uh, decoration. Potted plant. Let's put a potted plant in here for him. And that way someone will uh, plant that for him and he can um, hopefully not go crazy. Drills is talking to him, though. He's going to he's gonna win him over, I think. Failed to recruit. 28% chance. So he's doing pretty good here, actually. Drills is doing his best. He's looking pretty good in his new outfit, though. Uh, one of the moons of this planet is orbited in front of the sun, and eclipse has begun. Okay, so that'll affect our solar power. But luckily, we have our generator back up, so it'll be okay. So actually, this will not be an issue this time around. Um, this metal is getting hauled away. And actually, guys, how about this? Let's zone this for metal and rock chunks. Storage for raw resources. We want metal here. And stone blocks and not uranium though. Metal, wood, and stone blocks I want in here. And that's about it. For now. And I'll actually set this as priority high. And what is the priority on this one? This one's normal. So it should go over here. I should be bringing it. They won't touch this stuff at least. The stuff that's already here they won't mess with. And Wedge will start bringing it over. Awesome. Alright. Because good because we need that kind of stuff over here. And then what we're going to do is uh, set this stuff to be mined right here. The orders. Mine these walls right here. There we go. And someone will work on those. We'll set this... Uh, Floor to be the same then. We'll go stone tile right here. All right, so we got hydroponics and we'll go back to research screen. Now, what do we want to work on? Uh, electric smelting, nutrient resynthesis, carpet making, uh, colored lights for decorative purposes, or a fertilizer pump. I think we probably want electric smelting next. Um, not a bad idea, I think. Or machining. I think, I think we're not at the point where we're, we're going to get like any, any mechs quite yet. So we'll do electric smelting next. This colony is going pretty well here, I will say. Let's speed things along again here. All right, so uh, let's get back to mining here. We need to mine out the rest of this stuff, I think. Uh, because I want to have some nice, nice, a lot of room in here, actually, for all, this, all the, the blocks and that kind of thing we're going to have. We're going to have a nice br a breach back here, though, as far as uh, our, our uh, security goes now. So we're going to make sure that it doesn't happen too uh, quickly. Let's put a structure around here. I'll put stone walls up through here. And that'll protect us once this gets breached. We'll have walls that go in there to protect us then. There we go. And people are dropping off the metal and stuff here. Awesome. Awesome. So Freya's going to seal it off so we don't get a breach. There is a little hole people can sneak through now. She didn't do very much before she gave up on it, though. Maybe she needs more supplies. Oh, she's got to go all the way around. Oh, she's going to bed. All right, fine. Oh, Catherine's taking care of it, though. She's on the job. Now we don't have to worry about guys coming in through the back way. They'll have to come all the way around to greet our guys right here, where we'll have a gun just sitting here waiting for them, probably. That might not be a bad idea. We actually put a turret, like, right here, and that can get guys another way, then. That might not be a bad idea at all. Let's, do it. Let's put that there for now. It's not the perfect solution. We're definitely going to make... Oh, incendiary mortar. EMP mortars. Man, there's a lot of stuff we can do here. Let's put this right here. And uh, this will help with... I don't want to have it too close to the house. I don't want it to blow up like that. Okay, perfect. And that way that'll take out guys that come around this way. And uh, then the next one will hit them too if they get too close. Alright, so Frey took care of the walls here. Failed to recruit Alex once again. Or Axel, rather. Uh, and what else? 
pretty good. Okay, so if things are moving along quickly here, I should slow down again. I kind of get carried away with myself when I'm speeding through things. Oh, the combat supplier left comms range. Oh, man, we missed our opportunity there for new weapons. That's all right. We'll find another chance. Uh, we'll put in some more stone tile through here. Once she's done mining it, of course. Wedge, what are you working on? It's hauling metal, so he's going very, very slow. Oh, he's a very slow guy. He's industrious. His work speed is 30%, and he's an optimist. I don't know why he's so slow, though. Oh, these rocks are in the way. It's part of the problem. Need a grave. For who? Who still needs a grave? I don't think we need a grave anymore. Chef is taking care of it. Better wash his hands after he's uh, done hauling corpses, though. He's going to get everybody sick. All right, let's put the stone tile back through here again. And I'll get this cleaned up then once they're done. And then I'm actually going to convert this whole thing. I don't know how exactly. Um, I'm going to convert this whole thing into a prisoner area, though. Somehow. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but it's going to work quite well. I'm sure. Wend, why are you going so slow? Seriously? Why are you impaired? He got an old gunshot from an improvised... Is that from us? He's got a, Oh, he's got a seriously impaired brain. Oh, oh no. That's why you can't do anything cool. He, Wedge is just our big hulking dumb guy who got a brain injury, and now uh, he just he just goes around hauling things. Oh my god! Knowing that, maybe I should take him off of anything that's too technical. Uh, let's see, he's on hunting, maybe not. Uh, constructing, I guess. Mining, sure, he can be mining. He can be mining, crafting, hauling. How about that? Let's just put him on that. Let him not even constructing, and he can just be a patient in firefighting. But that's it. That's all he's gonna do is those three things. That sounds good to me. I don't trust him with anything else. In researching, I definitely don't want the guy with the brain injury researching. So we'll just keep him on mostly just mining and crafting. How about that? Oh, he's minecrafting. Nice. Um, let's uh, get the floors put in here when she's done with it. A couple more blocks. Then we're all done here. Where is she going? What did she grab metal for? Where are you going with that? Oh, is she putting the turret in? Oh, she's putting the turret in. Now that, now that Wedge can't do it, he can just clean up. He's our custodial services now. I didn't know we had a head energy right. I was kind of pushing him too far, I think, before. Uh, these rocks are actually quite nice because they will slow down enemies trying to get through here and so that the uh, turrets will take them out longer. So we might have to actually use those kind of things for... for uh, uh, we might actually want to put rocks in the, in the way there in that kind of case. Um, I don't know if we can tell people to put rocks in certain spots. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we could just set it up as like a storage area for rocks over here, though. And that way they can't get to the uh, this stuff too easily. We had a lot of clothing just strewn about here. That's okay, though. A lot of guns, too. That's right. So we got another turret. And it's got a pretty good range here. Pretty good, pretty good advantage of anything that they're going to come from. So it's going to work pretty nicely, I think. And the nice part about this one is it's not shooting over our guys when they're standing here, which is nice. So uh, that'll be a plus for sure. All right. So the colony is going really well. I'm happy with it. We got we got so many people now. I don't know if this is our largest colony yet. Six. I think that might be close to it. I don't know if we've gotten more than that. We might have had eight before. I'm not too sure. I mean, that's nothing compared to the size of the colonies you can get. But a really, uh, eight's a pretty good number. Eight's a pretty good number as far as your efficiency and stuff goes. You can get a lot done in a single day now. Where is Chef headed? He's grabbing some more rocks. Oh, he's stone cutting. That's right. We got to put rocks and that kind of thing down here. Once this gets dug out, we'll put more storage in here for rocks and stuff too. Oh, I forgot to put, say it's okay for chunks down here. We got to get that that's that, that squared away for sure. So I could probably set him to stop making this uh, this stuff here, though. I could probably turn it down now. Let's set it to one. That way, when he finishes what he's doing, he'll be done. Sounds good. Now he'll go back to, to making food for us because we are actually out of meals almost here. Once again, did I not set up another meal here? Oh, we, we're out of meals again. Oh, my God. All right, let's just cook some fine meals up. Let's do 20. We'll have you working all day here, Chef. I, mean, I know, but uh, that's what's going to have to happen. Let's do 10 simple meals and and, and 20 cooked meals or fine meals. And uh, we need like a storage for blocks down here too, the stone blocks and that kind of thing too, I think. Oh, it is down there. This is an over room at the moment because there's already 75 in there. So, all right, that's fine. Chef should be getting to work now cooking. Fantastic. Get some meals made for us, buddy, because we really need it. We're almost out of other ingredients, though, so it might not work that well. He's doing a, a fine meal now. One potato plus nine berries. 
So I guess it takes 10 of everything to make food. Uh, we should probably get somebody back on planting now then. Um, planting, growing, probably put Frey on a one on that. Anybody else good at growing? Put growing on a one here. What, uh, what was I using Catherine for? Mostly for constructing, I think. So let's put her on a two on growing. And then maybe it'll get done then. We need somebody doing it because we're running low on food, I think, at this point. We're pretty self-sustaining here now. It's going pretty well. Meanwhile, Drills is working on hauling things. Awesome. So what is Drills doing now? He's hauling metal to stockpile two. Why? Right, I guess he's bringing the metal over from here over to here. I guess that's fine. That way it's close by for crafting and that kind of thing, which I like. Uh, where is our buddy? Where did he go? Did he just wander off wedge? What are you doing here exactly? Oh, he's mining. That's fine. Okay, you mine. You mind your heart's content, buddy. You mind till your heart's content, little buddy. I didn't know he had such a such an adversity he was over overcome coming. I was kind of making fun of him. I feel bad now because he was going so slowly there. Now I feel I feel a little bad because he has a head injury. Or uh, got shot in the brain. And now uh moves a little slower, can't do certain things. It happens. It happens, you know? Alright, let's speed things along here a little bit. Let's see if we can get this all dug out today. No, probably not. Slowly, slowly getting done though. Oh, we got a couple people working on it. Now it goes a little bit faster when we have a couple people doing it. We really need to get the separate rooms figured out, but I don't think people are doing, mining it too much. We haven't had any mental episodes or anything like that lately. Or anything close to it, which is good. Alright, so really, I said we were going to set up this as a prisoner area. That's going to probably have to wait till next episode, I think, now though. Once this gets dug out though, we'll set this up for... The eclipse is ending finally. Oh, the eclipse is over. Thank God. All right, so once this is dug out, I actually do one more right here, just for the sake of my OCD. Let's do orders to mine this right here. And then I can have a nice solid square room. Well, almost square room, but better. And then we'll set this up for storage for the rest of the room here. Orders. Oh, finished electric smelting. You can build electric smelters, which can use uh, me refined metal from slag. Awesome. Uh, in that case, we might want to have some, some power into here somehow and uh, get uh, a slag refinery set up near this stuff or we're going to have to slag the most. Uh, might not be a bad idea. All right, well, let's 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 zone this off for stockpile because that was the idea here is we want to make a nice stockpile room here. And now, once that's done, we put an electric door in there. I don't even know. Yeah, probably not. We don't even have a door in there. I think it's not affecting anybody's mood in the room. Let's see it quick. Spacious interior, sharing a bedroom. Nope, doesn't mind it. I want to put a light in here, though. Because how's Wedge doing? He hates the environment in here. It's way too dirty, I'm guessing. If I want to put a floor in here, that kind of thing, maybe too. So, to spruce it up a little bit. Aside from that, though, pretty good. Uh, we can actually smooth this stone out, and that'll be even better, because it doesn't cost any resources. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. We'll have these guys smooth out the floor in here, and get everything moved over to our new stockpile away from the old one. And then uh, we have the ability to start refining slag into metal. And now next we're going to start working on this area right here is going to be a prison area. Uh, once I get the floors in here made and that kind of thing. We'll have a nice like separate cells for each prisoner and get it all moved out. And then after that, once we have separate cells for each prisoner, we'll set up like three of them. And then once that's done, we will have uh, separate rooms for everyone. We'll get them all separated out and have a nice like expandable and we'll make it even bigger so we can have more rooms in the future. And we'll have a set place for all of our prisoners and a set place for all of our colonists. We'll stop switching around beds constantly and that kind of thing. Anyways, I've been Modi. Thank you so much for watching another episode of RimWorld. If you're enjoying the series, please let me know. And I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.